everyone, this is Craig Reese with Hollywood Junket, and we have last season's winner of The Voice, Carter Rubin, joining us live here on Instagram, and I am so excited to talk to this guy again. Such an amazing job last season, and it's been super fun watching him on Instagram and posting everything, and just looks like he's doing awesome, and I cannot wait to talk to him, and he's already on, so let's bring him in. Yes! Yes! Hi! Carter, Carter, how's it going? It works this time. It works this time. Jeez. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I know. I was like, how many takes is this going to take? But I awesome. I know, I know. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so good to see you. So many viewers already. Everyone's excited to see you and yes. hear from you. How's it going? It's going great. Um, a lot of great stuff. I have a, um, I'm with a great management team out in LA, and I just recently hooked up with a producer out in New York, and we're getting in the studio soon. Um, good music is coming, so I appreciate everyone's been patient. Um, keep staying tuned because good things are coming for sure. Anyone that's in the industry knows it definitely takes a while, you know, so it's yeah. hard for the fans because they want it, they want songs like right away, but it, yeah. it's a lot, it's a process. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a whole process in itself. I've been, um, I've been given some great songs and material and I've been writing as well, which is definitely a whole another process in itself, but it's very enjoyable. And um, Gwen was the one who encouraged me to start writing some songs and learn some instruments. So I've been doing both. I've been learning piano um, and I've, uh, just trying my best right now to learn some chords to songs, just because I know it's like a good skill to have in the back of your head um, when it comes to like writing songs and stuff. So, yeah. Absolutely. I had honestly, I think piano is like fundamental for any artist. Like for you sure. have for to, sure. yeah. It's the that's one instrument that really does help. Definitely. That's well, something I learned. I've got tons of questions, both involving the show and just about what's going on with you. But since we're talking about music right now, one of my questions was, are you thinking about sticking in the pop lane of music? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some of my influences, Ariana Grande, Harry Styles, um, like the stuff you hear on the radio. When I make an album one day, I look forward to making songs that people can kind of just vibe to and cry to and other songs that people can, you know, get up and dance to and songs that will get you like pumped up during a concert. And um, I can't wait to go in the studio and start creating. I, oh, me neither. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I uh, I do have to say this real quick before I forget. I love your background. I saw it when you were interviewing with uh, Pete Moroz. I was like, yes. oh, that's so cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a big uh, fire and ice music note. Got it for Christmas and thought it was really cool. So I stuck it up back here in my home studio. And so awesome. a lot of good things happening down here as well. Yes, looks great. So you just mentioned Ariana, and serious question, how are you dealing with the fact that she's now married and off the market? <sighs> <laughs> you had to, I forgot, and you had to remind me, yes, <laughs> I, now I don't have a chance with her, it's fine. But, it's, but in all seriousness, I'm so excited to see her on season 21. She's going to give such incredible advice, because she's traversed this whole industry at a very young age, and... I'm so excited to see the knowledge that she passes down. And she's like one of the greatest, undeniably one of the best vocalists of our generation. And she's just incredible in every way. I'm just so excited to, to see what she does on the show. 100% agree. And I really hope it kind of brings a lot more younger artists on the show next season too, Definitely. because obviously Definitely. she has tons of advice for those type of artists. Definitely. And another question I kind of had involving her was, if you were competing on season 21 and you had her as your coach, how do you think that would kind of change the way that you would be on the show? Um, I think uh, it's so hard to even imagine because I have never met Ariana in person. Hopefully, in one, hopefully one day I do. Yes. But, um, Gwen was such an amazing coach. She gave me incredible advice. I'm sure Ariana Grande would give me incredible advice as well. I definitely plan on meeting her one day, but um, I think it would have gone successful either way. I'm yeah. very happy with the way things went, and I'm looking forward to the future as well. Very cool. Love it. Looking yeah. back at your time on the show, what do you think was your most challenging song? Most challenging song? Um, I actually didn't know Hero, 
And I know that's mm. a little shocking because it's like a classic, but I was given Hero, like it was inspired by a version that um, Tori Kelly did on her Instagram live. And I listened to it. I was like, wow, I, this is another song for me to learn. And it's very, very big range requires a lot of strength and passion. And so there's definitely a challenge for me, but I, I really like taking risks. So I enjoyed it. Also, The Climb, I was, uh, it was very nerve wracking for me, finale week, but, um, and I've never sung that song before. I've always listened to it and loved it. Never really imagined myself singing it. So it was definitely, um, definitely a change for me, um, mm -hmm. kind of going down that, almost like that pop country rock soul kind of vibe. Um, but I, I really do love that song and I was happy to sing it. The Climb is a tough song. For and sure. Milo made it sure. so Damn. hers, so that's a challenge for sure. I had yeah. to go on. I had to go on vocal rest one day because it was such a challenging song. I was like, no, I just need to give myself the day, let myself regroup because it's def it's definitely one of the more challenging songs I had to sing. Um, but I enjoyed it. Absolutely. Uh, what artists from your season are you still in contact with, or have you worked with anyone from your from your season? Yeah, so I have been in contact with actually a lot of artists from the season. Um, Great. I've mentioned this before. I met Corey and Riley. They were both, I met them during season 19. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I was so excited for them when they both got the chance to come back for season 20. They both killed it. And I'm so proud of what they accomplished. Um, I went on live with Pete, with Carolina. Um, I, uh, I've i been talking to Rachel on Instagram, uh Cam, Victor, Kenzie, Jordan, um, Gianna, Anna Grace, and I know I'm forgetting a lot of people, but <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> uh, there's so many incredible artists this season. I named, I think I named all five in the finale. I'm so excited to see what they do tonight. They're going to crush it. I, I can't believe it. And it's literally in less than an hour. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ah. Uh. However, you mentioned Corey, and I was super bummed to not see him advance. I was definitely rooting for him. Were there yeah, any Corey artists was... were there any artists that you were surprised not to see go through or that you wanted to see go to the top five? It was hard because I feel like everyone deserved to go through in their own way. Everyone because yeah. it's it's all different styles, different genres. You have pop, country, rock, soul, R and B. It's all these different vibes and textures and different tones. And so I'm really was rooting for everyone one hundred percent. Um Corey killed his whole run on the show so did riley and i'm so excited yes. for the five finalists tonight to see what they do oh yeah i mean i've said this a thousand times but from the get from the blinds everyone on that show is so talented so it's like for sure for sure it's it's too tough to to see a clear winner even yeah. in the top five i have no idea i have no idea who I am is so tonight i think yeah. any of them could take it I think they're all so talented in their own ways. And I'm so excited to see their song choices tonight um, because I don't think they're doing originals. Do I have that right? I don't think they're doing originals tonight. I think they're no, doing- No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Unless they have, I, I haven't seen anything about that, so I don't know. Yeah, um, that's just what I heard, but I hear that they have some incredible song choices and I'm so excited to see what they do. Me too. Oh my goodness. I was about to say, we're, we're getting a lot of love, a lot of comments. If you do have a question, you yeah, can I post see. it. And if I see it, I will ask. Someone just asked Loria question mark. But yeah, I want to know, are you still talking with Loria? And how's that going? Yes, of course. She's incredible. Yeah. Um, I'm talking to like all the minors on a daily basis, like Loria, JC, Mia, um, all of them. They're incredible and definitely plan on meeting back up. I just recently reunited with JC and Mia in Tennessee. Oh. I saw them perform at Dollywood. That was like one of the best weekends of my life. It was- Oh, like, I'm so, so jealous. So <laughs> much. Was, I had probably the most fun I think I've ever had in like a single weekend. It was so, it was just great. Um, but yeah, I definitely miss Lariah. It's so tough because she lives in California, but we were talking about maybe recording together one day because a lot of people, a lot of people are asking for that. So we were talking about doing that, but yeah, everyone, um, I'm trying to keep in touch with as many people as possible. I love it. And keep it up because yes, yes. Those, those paths will all cross eventually. And yeah. Yep. <laughs> so going back to writing songs, where are you finding inspiration for that? Are you thinking more like 
dance happy songs or like more like serious emotional songs or where where do you go i'm thinking both i'm thinking both like happy sad everything in between it's kind of i find that i'm writing the best songs when i feel like a lot like sometimes if i'm like really happy i'll write a song that's like really like upbeat and cool and groovy yeah. and then other times when i'm like not in a good place <laughs> i'll write songs that are completely the opposite but I, uh, I've been writing some, you know, sad songs, some happy songs, some romantic songs, uh, you know, girls and stuff. Um, but yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, find my inspiration um, anywhere I can. I love it. Oh, I cannot wait. Yes, I'm, I'm so excited to see, for everyone to see what I create. Well, do you have any dates or anything that we should know about of anything coming up, like performances, single releases? Please tell us everything. Yeah, well, I'm going in the studio very soon, in a few weeks, to go create and meet with my producer. But in the meantime, um, this May 29th, Saturday, I'm performing at uh, a Long Island water park. It's, it's called Splish Splash. It's the biggest um, water park in New York. And then... A few days later, I'm performing at a local amphitheater with a Long Island band called Acadia. Very excited for that. And I am also, in August, I am performing at City Field for the Mets game. Oh, my so goodness. Those are three performances I have in my head right now coming up. But I am very excited for music to come out as well. That's what I have going on in the meantime. So when you go into the studio, are you coming out to L.A. for that? Uh coming out to I am going to LA this summer uh, to go record and meet with m some of my team members in person I also am planning on going upstate New York where my new producer is and we're going in his studio to create some cool stuff um, kind of all over the map you know I love it now this is yeah. kind of in the same vein I just saw someone ask what you're most excited about the future do you have any Pretty thoughts on that? I like, what are you say. most looking forward to? Um, I'm most looking forward to getting in the studio and releasing new music. I'm so excited to see what I go do there. I'm so grateful for the voice and all the opportunities I was given. But I'm I'm ready to to go to the next chapter and kind of explore more of myself as a person and the artist I want to be. And I'm excited for people to see that through music. Yeah. And a lot of people are too. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. Carter, I will have one more question and then I'll let you go. Um, have you gotten to stay in touch with Gwen? I have. She's the most, this is, this is the sweetest person even when I was with her in person, but she is so invested in my success. Um, have, some of my team members are hers, like my business manager is her business manager. She hooked me up awesome. with some amazing people. We are working very closely together. Um, me and my team and team, it's also with Glenn. Uh, she um, is very invested in my career and my success. And it's uh, very great to see. And I'm extremely grateful because she's such a good person and so genuine and so real and she wants the best for me and we are working to make that happen going and taking my career and going in the right direction she's she's the most incredible oh, i am that makes me so happy to hear yes, that it That's... makes me happy too i'm very, very <laughs> grateful for glenn always well, Carter, thank you again so, so much for your time. It was no so exciting to catch up with you again. And I'm sure we'll talk again in the future. But yes. good luck with everything you have coming up. And you, obviously me and everyone that's joining is super excited. So keep thank it up. You We're... Thank you. Yes. Carter, I'll let you go. Have a great night. And again, thank you. you too. Enjoy the finale. Thank you so much for having you me. You too. Bye. Everyone, thank you so much for joining that interview today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the comments and the love. I know Carter appreciated it too. And yeah, uh, the show is about to start in less than an hour on the East Coast and Central Time, so check it out. We have had tons of interviews with artists from this season of The Voice. You can see them here on our Instagram, or you can go to our YouTube channel at Hollywood Junket to check those out. And actually, right after the live show tonight, I'll be interviewing all five of the artists, and then we will post those interviews very soon.